Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, Zombie Army 4. Today we're going to be doing uh, part 2 of Mission 1. Just checking my options real quick and we're going to get back into the campaign here. Okay, so as you can see we started where we left off in the safe room. <clears throat> now I had a uh, recording error the first time I tried to record this. So your first upgrade kit is going to be like right here on the desk. And as you can see, when I pull it up, we've already collected it. We've got one of three. The uh, next collectible is going to be down here in the uh, shooting range. You just talk to this guy. And he tells you to push the green button right here. And once you complete the uh, shooting range, this door is going to open and that safe is going to open. It's going to reveal a, uh, another upgrade kit for us. So let's get this started. It's not hard to do. It's just uh, very time consuming. I need to stop missing rushing shots because it's mostly just waiting for this cage to open so you can take your shot. If I could kill them when they come out, that would be a lot more faster and efficient. Now we gotta start being careful because we've got the uh, civvies out here in the form of JC Penny mannequins. And we're gonna watch my terrible aim today. Very terrible aim today. I need to wake up. And now the shooting range is complete, we can now come in this room and get our second upgrade kit. Let's see what's in here. Take a couple frag grenades as well. So as you can see, we now have two out of the three upgrade kits for this level. A couple more frag grenades, we're going to need them because our challenge is getting 75 explosive kills. It's not hard to do, but uh, first things first, we're gonna come over here to the workbench. Uh, each safe room has one, so we just interact with that. And this is where we get to uh, upgrade our weapons as well as our character. So as we can see here from the uh, first mission, we unlock the, uh, our first melee perk, the Mercedes Slash. Just want to make sure that's equipped. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start upgrading our weapons. I don't really need the flame barrel yet, so let's see what we got. We can increase our magazine size.
chill we got here for the uh, MP44 damage. Okay, this will be good. And more control. That's always a good thing. So there's our upgrades done. And the other thing I wanted to discuss was the uh, perks. So as you can see, when we rank up, we're going to get more perks. And right now we have uh, a couple different perks here. You've got your offensive perks in uh, Bombardier. And you can see down here at the bottom where it says next unlock, i got to get 200 offensive grenade kills. Now, not all these perks have to be equipped. You can just do these. Only certain ones have to be equipped in order for you to uh, upgrade them from their level 1 to their uh, level 3 uh, max perk rank. But we've got Combo King here. And we've got Enhanced Stamina. So, but right now, uh, what we're focusing on is Second Chance. Because right now, we have this annoying task of kill enemies to revive with less than 6 seconds left before bleeding out. And this is kind of a pain to do. I'm going to attempt to do it maybe during this mission or the next mission just so uh, you guys can see how that works but uh, if for some reason I fail I'm not going to stress too much and I'll just do it off camera uh, our ammo is full and there should be a crate around here with uh, med kit This is probably it right here. Yep. We've got our med... Oh, we've got full med kits. Never mind, we didn't need it. So we're just going to hold the door and we're going to move on. Alright, we're going to come through this door and it's going to cause a uh, cinematic. I'm gonna shoot this pallet right here. This is gonna cause a series of explosions. We're gonna chuck some grenades. Nice little group down there. We're just going to keep chucking these for the challenge. So you kill a couple. Now they're going to start falling behind you here. Put that barrel. Put that one. Oh, that fell down.
crash through the wall. Not us, real zombies. The station's under siege. Bastardo! No time to waste. Push forward through the station and get to that train. And look out for survivors as you go. All right, with that completed, we can now restock on ammo and try to find a couple more grenades. All right, we're fully stocked. We're back to four grenades, and we got 31 out of the uh, 75 explosive kills. There uh, aren't any collectibles in this area. There's a pallet I could have used. So we're just going to uh, move on. Up the wall. Damn it. Stations are wrecked. We're gonna melee this guy. More dead coming off the train. Now they weren't close enough to that explosive, but we're gonna get uh, plenty of opportunities here to get explosive kills. And we're already off to a pretty good start. There's a medic zombie right here, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stomp his corpse because he gives a med pack. This is probably gonna be the perfect time to uh, try to uh, work on the uh, second chance perk. So I'm gonna let this guy down me. You don't want a zombie with weapons. And we're just gonna watch his movement here. You see we got that bar down there. We gotta wait for it to deplete. I'm gonna wait for him to walk away from me. Instead of holding square to give up, I'm just gonna tap it to make it deplete faster. And we're going to get to where we believe is going to be the six second mark. Then we're going to kill this guy. And as you can see, we unlocked the second chance part two. So now we're just going to heal up with that med pack and pick the one up the other zombie uh, drops. We stock on ammo. And we can move on knowing that uh, we have completed that hard task. The trick to that one is, is finding a spot where you only have one zombie and you really don't want that zombie to be carrying a weapon like this guy is here. You don't want anybody with guns. You don't want anybody with blades. Because uh, even while you're down, they're more than likely to stay aggressive and attack you. If you find those skinny... Uh, skeletal like zombies without a weapon like this guy in the back over here they typically leave you alone when you're down and you it makes the getting that uh perk upgrade a lot easier third time's a charm my aim is, I apologize for my aim today it is pretty terrible Damn it. the 
It's a blood seal. That's bad news. So what we gotta do is just kill the zombies in this area for that door to open. I'm gonna try to, uh, there aren't that many zombies in this area, so I think what I want to do is I'm going to try to, uh, get them to come to this tank over here. And I'm gonna blow it up on them. I know it's uh, not the uh, funnest thing to watch, but as you can see, it will get the challenge done. Weapons are reloaded. I'll take another frag grenade. So now we're going to come in here. And these windows here are going to break open. We're going to have a horde of zombies. So I'm going to chuck a grenade out here. the ones that are close to me. Grab a couple grenades. And now our first collectible is actually going to be in this building. You just come around the benches right here, and it's sitting right here, the comic. There's uh, nothing else really in this area. Now, if we weren't trying to do this explosive challenge, this uh, thing with the targets on it, that would spin this propeller blade, and that's a really fun way to kind of kill zombies. Uh, I might just let these guys actually come close and demonstrate it right now. You just The trick is you just don't want to be standing in front of it when you tr trigger the uh, trap, because uh, it will suck you in and chop you to bits as well. So we'll just go ahead and show you how that works. Now that's ended its cycle, we're going to come through this train car to our next collectible. And you can see him uh, running right here across the top of the train car is the zombie hand. So we're just going to sh- well we were going to shoot him real quick, I hear zombies. So right now we're at 55 of 75 explosive kills, and we've got the zombie hand and the comic. We're looking for one document and one upgrade kit. So we're going to carry on. We're going to move up to our next objective here. Damn it, they're everywhere. And we're going to get a uh, nice group of zombies down here. Another medic, very useful. As you can see in the back there, they're uh, starting to line up.
So I'm going to run up here. I want to chuck a grenade. Sixty-four. We've got another group kind of forming up here on the right side, so I want to chuck another one. And there we are, challenge is complete. So now we can uh, just focus on getting the other two collectibles and finishing the mission. These are uh, electric traps, in case anybody was wondering. Here they just uh, have like an electric shock that runs along these uh, fence posts down here. One here. There's a med pack back here. We're just going to go ahead and heal up. pick up the med pack. There was a slight delay there. I don't know why, but now we're going to move through this doorway here and continue on. Killing the zombies in this area. Now our next collectible is going to be right up here in this room. So once this area is uh, free of zombies, Stay down. we're just going to come around the corner up here, walk up the stairs, and here is the uh, final upgrade kit for the level. As you can see, we got the uh, challenge done, the zombie hand, the comic, and three out of three upgrade kits. The uh, document is going to be uh, back in this area towards the end of the level, and I'll show you where that's at when we get there. This is the introduction to Suicider Zombies. They got dynamite suicide vests and they just they sprint towards you as fast as possible, but shooting them, and the, what they'll do is they'll try to blow up on you. So you just shoot them in as far away as you possibly can, or use them like this in groups of enemies, and try to explode them and then it takes out the group. You can use them tactically. And if you still hadn't uh, completed the uh, challenge, uh, you could quite possibly uh, finish it off here just off of Suiciders, provided your uh, aim is good. I don't know why the ammo, the uh, weapon switch there uh, happened like that.
All right, we're just going to restock on ammo. Just in case. I don't think we're going to need any more of it, but always good to restock just in case. And now right here, you see the uh, icon to head towards the safe room in this direction. What we're going to do is we're just going to turn left and in this uh, metal shack. Right here, I'll back up so you can see is uh, the uh, final collectible, the document. And now all we gotta do is uh, move toward the safe room. And that's it, chapter complete. As you can see we got all the uh, we got all the collectibles. 94 we needed 75, so those uh, suicide zombies uh, did some work for us. Uh, but yeah, the challenge is complete. All the collectibles are complete. I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you liked the video, be sure to uh, like and subscribe. You can also follow me at uh, Expendable83 on Twitch. I get on there and stream sometimes when it's not disconnecting me. But I just want to thank you all again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.